Okay, the wheel's mounted. And uh, I'm running one coil just to see how effective it is. And it's 0.06 amps at 168 volts. Um, and one coil is pushing the wheel without a problem. So the output is 430 milliamps into the battery bag. So one coil's enough to push the wheel. Okay, we got two coils on it. And 260 milliamps consumption. It seems to be going pretty good. I put the coils as close as I thought possible uh, together. They're only about an inch apart. And it definitely seems to be pushing twice as good. So that's a good thing. I can put the coils a lot closer together than I ever thought. So it's outputting 2.2, roughly 2 amps and a little over 2 amps, 2.3 amps into the batteries. It's using 0.280 milliamps at 120 volts and it seems to be working just fine. Half an amp, 120 volts, outputting 4.2 amps at 13 volts. Two hundred and forty RPM. Still got a wobble. Okay, got four coils running. And they're working just fine at a half an inch apart. So basically what's happening here is these two are firing almost identically in these two. So there'll be another fourth set over there and fourth set at the bottom. So the vibration, yeah, you know, should stop. Um, it reaches a resonant frequency for the, the support structure and it, it, until it goes beyond that speed it tends to resonate. Eight hundred and seven seventy milliamps at hundred and twenty volts. I'm putting six, almost seven amps at 13 volts. Three hundred seventy-two RPM. Eight coils. Two point three amps. Sixteen amps out. 13.5 volts. Six hundred and seventy RPM. Two point five amps. Seventeen amps out. Seven hundred RPM. Twenty two amps out. Fifteen volts. Just dumping some amps there.
RPM, 3.5 amps, 150 volts, 120 volts, 24 amps. 